the Bob Dole Humanitarian Award for Service to the Disability Community, established by the Department of Special Education at the University of Kansas on the occasion of its 50th anniversary. The Bob Dole Humanitarian Award for Service to the Disability Community. Inaugural recipient, Senator Bob Dole. My life has been an exercise in compensation. The contest of life must be open to all. The Americans with Disabilities Act is all about providing a sense of independence and freedom. The people of Russell looked at me different because of my disability, but soon I was just Bob again and they were my friends and supporters who wanted me to succeed. Senator Bob Dole. In the future, this prestigious award will be presented to others with a Kansas connection who have demonstrated throughout their careers a commitment to and corresponding effort on behalf of individuals with disabilities and their families. And as a profession, a helping service profession, I want you to know that uh, the name Bob Dole is um, a name that reminds us always of the progress made by our country in helping everyone contribute to meeting the needs of young adults and children with disabilities. Um, that's been really very significant. I must confess that before I had a disability, I probably didn't think much about it because, you know, I was able-bodied and thought I was an athlete. I wasn't good enough, but I thought I was. <laughs> I'm sure you were. But then when, when all this changes your life, uh, it suddenly becomes something you take an interest in and should have taken an interest in before, uh, and you find that other people have if you think you have a problem, as the old saying goes, just look around. That's true. And uh, so my first speech in the Senate was on disability. And I made it, I always try to make it on April 14th. That was the date I was wounded in Italy, eight, April 14, 1945. Sometimes that would be a weekend, you couldn't make it on mm -hmm. the 14th. So every year I was in the Senate, I made a speech on, on or about April 14th about people with disabilities. And early on, uh, you know, we'd make speeches, but people with disabilities couldn't get in to hear us. If you're in a wheelchair, you couldn't get over the curb. So we were in there beating our breasts, making these great speeches, and people with, say, wheelchairs, for example, couldn't get in the gallery. So we, we've come a long way. I guess that's the point I think. Can you share with us your greatest challenges as you began your efforts in their behalf a good number of years ago? Well, let me first give credit to the, who I think the senator was sort of the, maybe not the pioneer, but his name was Jennings Randolph from West Virginia. And he had a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, and he was sort of the leader in the disability field. And I used to watch his work and try to participate on the kind of the fringe. I wasn't on the committee. and. And then, of course, we finally got around to passing the American with Disabilities Act. Correct. Which was bipartisan, which I think there should be more of, bipartisanship. I worked with Ted Kennedy and Senator Harkin from Iowa, Democrats, and I had Senator Dernberger, a Republican of Minnesota, and others. Uh, so it was truly bipartisan, signed by President Bush 41, in a White House signing ceremony that, that I'll never forget. There were 3,000 people. Some were on gurneys, some had seeing eye dogs, some were, you know, double amp. I mean, it was just a great event uh, because it was a big, big step forward to try to bring people with disabilities into the mainstream. Not perfect, mm -hmm. but it was a start. I don't think it was that hard to sell. It's just that we did people to focus on, on people with disabilities. Uh, we're very pleased on this occasion of the 50th anniversary of the Department of Special Education at the University of Kansas to establish the Bob Dole Humanitarian Award for Service to the Disability Community and to make you the first recipient. In the future, 
as others are honored with this award, we'll be selecting them based on their Kansas connections and their lifetime or career contributions and corresponding effort to behalf of individuals with disabilities and their families. At the invitation of Senator Dole, the inaugural award was accepted on his behalf by Staff Sergeant Matt Lammers. Sergeant Lammers is a Kansan who served in the Iraq War and is described by the Senator as someone who embodies sacrifice and perseverance. Future recipients of the Bob Dole Humanitarian Award for Service to the Disability Community will be named by the University of Kansas Department of Special Education in recognition of their significant contributions to the quality of life for individuals with disabilities and their families. Awardees may be policymakers, philanthropists, caregivers, or members of any profession. In this small way, we're expressing appreciation to Senator Bob Dole on behalf of our profession for a lifetime of public service.